Good day to you all, and welcome back to Baxter's Blades, the Tiger Pit. <laughs> Zoomed in here. This is my recent Buck 110 purchase. My camera is bouncy. Let me fix the bounce. I don't know if that'll help. Recent 110 purchase, I think this is my fifth 110, my third full size, is that correct? Fourth full size 110, and this is in Honduras Ebony. I have it zoomed in so we can get a good look at the Ebony, and I will back up. Now, the standard Buck 110 comes in Ebony, but it is not Honduras Ebony. Look at the beautiful striping in this. Absolutely beautiful knife. Other than that, it's a normal buck 10 with brass bolsters and 420 high carbon boss heat treated stainless steel. There's a story behind this one. Let's back it up. So, very similar part number. It is 0110BRS5-B. Not sure what that means. So, I was at the Buck, Buck Factory. All you mother buckers, if you haven't been there, definitely check it out. If you're ever in Post Falls, Idaho, stop in. They do tours of the factory at 10 and 2 o'clock. I got there about 11.30. I had about an hour, so I missed the tour. I will have to hit it again this summer when I'm heading back to my buddies. I'd like to see it. I wanted to meet Danny, the warranty worker who has been there for 42, 43 years. Uh, he had been started working at Buck um, originally when it was in the California shop and moved up here when the factory moved. Uh, unfortunately, I was informed that Danny has retired. Boo! No, good for Danny. He's worked there forever. It was nice to have him around. Seemed like a really cool guy. I hope he enjoys his retirement. So I was in there <clears throat> at the buck shop, checking out their knives, their historical knives in the cabinet. And I apologize, I didn't get a bunch of footage and pictures of all that. There's some glass in the way, so you get a lot of glare. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe next time I can do that. I do know you are not allowed to bring cameras into the factory. Um, but if you'd like to, you can go online and YouTube and there's people they've let take cameras in there and show the tour. So you can actually do a virtual tour of what happens there at the factory, which is really cool. Well, their shop, they have fantastic deals. They offer 20% off MSR, MSR, MSRP of their knives, uh, and sales tax in Idaho is way cheaper than Washington state. It's only like 6% instead of over 10%. They also have uh, factory blems, they call it. Not seconds, but they're factory blems. They might have little nicks. My friend recently bought a 112 automatic for like $115, and he could not find the blem in it. So great deals there. I was able to handle a, a saunter, saunter, excuse me, the slip joint micarta to see how if I liked it. Um, it was really nice. It was a small knife. They are priced at about $125, but they had the factory seconds for, I think it was $75. So I was really going to pick one up. Was not really impressed with the pull on it. There is no half stops. It is a great knife in 154 CM steel. I couldn't justify getting it, but I could not walk out of there without getting a knife. So I'm talking to the girls in the counter and the lovely ladies. They, one of them was bragging about, we were talking about you know, the Buck 110 and 112, and I was telling them about my custom I had gotten from the shop. Let me pull out the blade. And she was saying, oh, yeah, I, I got the custom in Honduras, Rosewood, and the Magna Cut. And I said, wait a minute, when did you guys start offering Honduras Rosewood in the custom shop? Because I look there all the time and I haven't seen it. And she's like, then she kind of backs up. Oh, well, it wasn't a custom, it was the... the 110, 112 drop on January 10th and January 12th. 
I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, those are sold out. And she's like, oh, well, we might have one in the back. You want to want me to go check? And I'm like, are you kidding me? You have one in the back? She's like, yeah, I think we do. Let me go check. And I'm like, yes, please. So she, I was expecting to get a 112. And unfortunately, the one that they had in the back was purchased by an employee, so I didn't get it. But she brought out two of these. And these, like I said, it's the normal 110. You can tell because it actually has a date stamp in their 420 Boss Heat Treated. It is very sharp. Brass. Covers. And then the Honduras Ebony Inlays. And they had two of these. So I was able to see which one I like better. the co Which covers I like better. I was able to check for any blade play. Absolutely no blade play up or down. But I did notice that this one, the blade was perfectly center. And the other one, it was kind of... It's kind of off a little bit. It wasn't rubbing, but it was off. So I had my choice. I said, how much? And I think $72 law, $66, $66. That's a buck more than a normal buck 110. Now it essentially is just a normal buck 110, just in a different ebony you won't find anywhere else. And I don't know what drop this was. I've never seen him for sale. You know, it's not a buck of the month. I don't know. And it has the feel, it's not gritty at all, it has the feel of a custom. So it might as well, to me, it might as well be like a custom with uh, just upgraded ebony wood. Now to give you an idea of their normal e ebony, <clears throat> it's like Krillium ebony or, or something like that. It's like this. This is the 120th anniversary. I got it with the tin and the coin from Walmart for $40. Uh, great. 110 came really sharp uh you can see i'm getting you know patina on the brass the brass just like you look at it it starts patinaing uh but this is an idea to give you an idea of what their normal ebony looks like and it's a great it's like the fretboards on guitars and actually they source their ebony i can't remember the guitar manufacturer they source it from uh very high quality wood they do wood really nice here's another look at the ebony this is the S30V drop point with nickel silver bolsters. I was lucky enough to get a discount on this online, and it came out to like $108. Also, not gritty. Nice walk and talk. But uh, close up on this wood. So this ebony has, a, you can see a little bit more gray in there, which is cool. But yeah, I just wanted to give you like an idea of the difference in ebony. So you can order this in their custom shop, this ebony, but it comes on most of their standards. I do like the nickel silver bolsters. It is not but classic, but it doesn't tarnish or patina up as bad or as fast as the brass. But something about bucks, wooden brass, that just really is killer. If you prefer a knife, you'll have to polish them all the time. These you just have to wipe off. It's very nice. In the custom shop, you can add nickel silver for about a $20 option, which it does look good with the dark covered scales. I think the brass looks better with the elk. And that's my problem. Every time I go to make a custom, I cannot decide. Finger grooves, pins, no pins, blue wood, cherry wood, I just, walnut, desert ironwood, Water Buffalo, I cannot freaking decide. I have a Buck 112 custom, and it didn't take me long to decide. I did oak, no pins, and just 420. So let's lay these out here. Do I need to make a custom? No, not really, but there's something kind of unique and cool about the custom shop. It does take about two months to get. You can customize it how you want. You can see I don't, these aren't all of my 110s. I do not have one with finger grooves. I personally don't like the look of it, but because I do not have one in finger grooves, I think I'll do a custom with finger grooves. Also, they have in their custom shop, you can get, I'm not a big fan of serrations. I do have some knives with serrations, but they have the 110, you can get it with serrations, partial serrations right down here. So you still got the smoothness of a clean edge up here. If you need to cut rope, you have serrations down here. They have them in 420, 420 polished. They have an S30V, 
and I don't have one with serration, so I might do the custom with a serration. It looks mean. It looks tough. Now, I have plenty of bucks without serrations. I just thought it might be cool to get one. So, if you ever go to the Buck Factory, ask them what they have hidden in the back room. You never know. I'm really upset I missed out on the Rosewood Magna Cut. But what can you do? Very happy with this. It is very unique. It comes with the standard black Made in Mexico 110 sheath, which is really fine. You do not want to keep your 110s in the sheaths. They patina up really fast. Um, they are really tight till they stretch out. This is very stiff leather. They will scratch up the bolsters a bit. You might have to put another polish. This is the one I ordered with my custom 112. It is very supple, soft. I like the brown. This is a made in USA. Uh, the one thing I do not like about it is that this belt loop it is really soft. So when you have it on your belt, it does kind of does flap around a little bit because the buck is a heavy knife. See that? Flops around a little bit. This is a way stiffer. You're not going to get a lot of flopping around. So something to be noted, the custom shop, it'll cost you $10 more to get one of these brown for a 110, but the 112, you can upgrade at no cost. Well, don't want this video to get long, but I wanted to explain that story. I was very happy. It was nice to hold it in my hand and pick the one I thought was better to make sure it was good instead of just ordering it. If I ordered something from them, I have to pay over 10% sales tax and possibly pay shipping if it's under $100. So, thank you for watching. My 110 collection is growing. I prefer them over the 112. The 112 is a great knife. This just fits my hand great. There's just something magical about the design language of the 110. It's been copied by many, many companies throughout the decades. And it's just there's something about it. You know, there's old timers, there's Shrades, there's Bear and Son. They all make copies of the iconic 110. I prefer the 110. And I like the 112. Don't get me wrong. To each their own. Everybody has their own opinion. But these are the bee's knees. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. You guys stay sharp, be safe, and take chances. Catch you on the flip side.